the Marvel TV side of Marvel, that's a good way to put that, has always been somewhat confusing to the bigger picture and continuity of what is canon to the MCU. Agent Carter came after Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's deeply connected to the MCU. Now, the brand new Marvel Studios book confirms, yes, Agent Carter is canon. But... We still don't really know how everything, and if everything, will ever matter in the grand scheme of the multiverse, all the continuity that can be pulled into the MCU proper or not. Now, one thing that's always gone back and forth is, of course, Agent Carter. Not the character herself, but the TV series. It had two seasons. Originally, it was supposed to be just one and done, and it was actually produced by Marvel Studios. And of course, we even saw that Jarvis from that series had an appearance in Avengers. So that's kind of one of those things where you just look at it and you go, well, that's that's connected, right? Recently, the making the Marvel Cinematic Universe revealed that despite what people believe and some of the things that have been said, Marvel Studios confirms that Agent Carter is a canon story that does tie into future films and it is a part of the continuity. And the book also reveals that the Marvel Entertainment side of Marvel TV and Marvel Productions was standing in the way of getting the Agent Carter project off the ground for years. They were trying. The theatrical side of Marvel Studios tried hard, but they just could not get it done. Marvel Entertainment would stop them every single step of the way up until they finally decided to do it for themselves. Now, season two is where it gets a little murky because season two was a Marvel TV deal to some degree. Marvel Studios wasn't as involved, but still, it's very much canon. But again, it's one of those things where, yes, it's a part of the continuity, but everything that happens in it, I don't think largely matters or has ever really been explored anywhere other than just hey Jarvis is here cool and again there's elements of Agent Carter that directly go against the established continuity if you will of what we know of S.H.I.E.L.D. so you could always bring that up and argue that but overall the series is canon but in the grand scheme of things it was still eventually a Marvel Entertainment thing. Marvel Studios being directly involved because they had to get past that Marvel Entertainment, I guess, hurdle, if you will. So agreements had to be made. So it's one of those things that's probably stuck in halfway limbo. It's canon. But even if you never acknowledge it or nobody watches it, they're not missing anything. And let's be real. If you didn't watch it, which many people didn't, did you miss anything? No. The little Jarvis cameo in Endgame? It's just a cameo. It doesn't affect anything. So it works.